Welcome everyone. You have the new Google Pixel 8 Pro uh, to transfer data from your old phone. This can be an old Pixel, it could be an iPhone or a Samsung, any old phone. The first step is we need to head over to this screen, the welcome to your Pixel screen. If you see the home screen, the lock screen instead, then we will need to factory reset our Pixel 8 Pro. And to do this, the first step is I want you to open up the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see here, system. You are then going to scroll to the bottom until you see reset options. You are then going to select erase all data then erase all data again, enter in your login, erase, and now your Google Pixel 8 Pro will do a factory reset. Once we see here, welcome to your Pixel, I want you to tap on get started, and then you will see here, set up using another device. If your old phone is an Android, so Google Pixel, Samsung, any Android, you should see here, set up and then Pixel 8 Pro. If you have an iPhone, you will need to tap on the iPhone or iPad button, and then you will need to set up some stuff manually. But if we have Android, let's tap on set up, and then we will need to scan the QR code, and we will need to enter in our biometrics. If you have an Android, it will automatically transfer the Wi-Fi network and your Google accounts from the old Android to your new Pixel 8 Pro. If you have an old iPhone on your Pixel, you will need to manually connect to the Wi-Fi network. You will need to manually log in to your Google accounts. Regardless if your old phone is an Android or an iPhone, you should see here, connect to mobile network, and it's asking us to download eSIM or insert a SIM card. The Pixel 8 Pro, regardless of the region, has a physical SIM card slot, so you can insert a SIM card now if you want. If you use eSIM, you can't transfer eSIM from an old phone to a new one, so that includes iPhone, and so you will need to tap on download eSIM and you will need to scan a new eSIM QR code. If you don't have one, you will need to call the carrier to get one. In my case, I want to insert a SIM card, but I don't need to do this now. So I'm going to tap on skip and then skip again. It's now asking us to set a lock on our Pixel 8 Pro. So we'll just enter one in. Now, Pixel 8 Pro uses a fingerprint unlock, which is in this screen. So let's scroll to the bottom and then let's select I agree. Start. And we need to scan our thumb or any finger where you see it showing. So you just need to keep on holding and releasing your thumb on the screen and slightly move it as well, just to get all of those scans in. And there we go, you can see it continues to process until we are done. If you want to add another finger, tap add another, otherwise tap on next. You can always add another fingerprint later in the settings. We see here, set up a face unlock. Let's scroll to the bottom. And if you want this, tap I agree, and then tap on start. So we need to place our face in the frame. I can't use glasses, so I'll turn, uh, get rid of these. And so we just need to do the on-screen instructions. So tilt the head up, and then down. And there we go, the face unlock has been set up. So let's tap on done. And so, Regardless if you have Android or iPhone, you should now see here, copy data from, and then 
either your Android device or it will say from your iPhone or iPad. Let's tap on next. And if you had an Android, the connection has already been established. If you have an iPhone, you will need to use the charging cable for your iPhone and you will need to connect your iPhone to your Google Pixel. You may notice that this cable you know, doesn't support my Google Pixel. So in the box of the Google Pixel 8 Pro, there is an adapter and you can use this adapter to connect to your Pixel, okay? If you have a really old Android, you may need to do this connection as well. The adapter in the box is used if you cannot connect your old phone to your new one. On iPhone as well, you will have to unlock the iPhone and there'll be this trust message. Just tap on trust. If you do need a dedicated tutorial on iPhone, you know, you, you're hearing me speak, but you're not fully following. I do have a dedicated tutorial dedicated to iPhone and I'll have that one in the description. So regardless of the device, we should now be on the same page. It's going to check all of the files that can be copied from your old phone to your new Pixel 8 Pro. And we can see here, choose what to copy. And so if you tap the tick, that will untick. Okay, so just select what you want. By default, everything is selected. And if you tap on apps, you can choose what apps should or should not be transferred. And so I'm going to personally, you can see it's going to take one and a half hours to transfer. So th this video isn't, you know, a decade long. I'm going to turn off apps and videos. I would personally recommend that you have everything on, but by turning these off, it will just speed up the data transfer. And then we're going to tap on copy. From here, it's going to set up your Google services. So if you want to have a device backup, you can leave this one on. I personally turn this one off because I've never used this. We then see here location permission. I'd recommend you leave this one on so the services work. Each app has to ask for the location permission. So you don't have to worry about your location being you know, used randomly. Scanning, this allows apps and Google to access your location even while you're offline. It's up to you if you have this one on, but I personally always turn this off. Diagnostic data, this is, you know, do you want to send data to Google? I don't, so I'm gonna turn that one off. And if we scroll to the bottom, we can then accept. Warranty, if you tap the region, it will show the warranty information. Just tap on next. Continue setup. If you want Google Pay, Google Assistant, tap continue. Otherwise tap on leave. I'm gonna tap on continue. And so Google Assistant, get things done hands-free. If you want the Google Assistant, which is Google's version of Siri to work while your phone is even locked. Leave this on and then scroll to the bottom and then select I agree. Teach your assistant to recognize your voice. This is voice match. And so this just helps only you to use the assistant instead of someone else. So if we scroll to the bottom, if we want this, we'll tap on agree. And now we need to say what we uh, see here. And then once you have, you know, said the voice lines, we'll just wait here. And so if your old phone had, you know, a card and this only applies to old Android, then it will show your card here. So we'll just tap on next. Uh, we just need to enter in the card details. I'm personally going to skip this but I would recommend you do set up Google Pay because you know, if you wanna make purchases using your phone you know, in person, this is great to do that. Anything else, you can go through all of this. Uh, this is optional, 
So I'm going to select no thanks. This is asking, do you want Google to send you marketing emails? I'm going to select no thanks. And now it should show a screen saying copying data. But we see here copying done. That means the data has been transferred from our old phone to our new Google Pixel. On iPhone, you will just see the home screen, but on your Android, it, uh, the old phone will tell you when the copying's done. If you have an iPhone, just check the new Android to see when the copying has been done. So from here, we're going to tap on done. And now it's going to get the phone ready. It is now saying swipe to navigate. So if you want to use the swipe navigation, tap try. If you tap on skip, you skip the tutorial. And we'll ignore that message. And we see all set. If you want to use buttons instead of swipe gestures, go into swipe navigation settings and then set this to free button navigation. Now, when we swipe up or we'll go home, we're now on the home screen. If your old phone was an Android, the wallpaper will be transferred on iPhone. It currently doesn't seem to work for me. But if we check, so if we go to the photos, actually I didn't transfer photos. Let's check what I did transfer, some messages. So if we take a look here, go through, you can see all of the messages have been transferred, no problem. And you know what else do I move? Let's think. The accounts you can see here, they've all been moved over as well. Before you factory reset your old phone, make sure that you have all of the apps on your new phone. You go into those new uh, those apps, and just make sure you're signed in. If you were not signed in, then just sign in with your information. If you're transferring data from an iPhone, there will be a bunch of stuff that just didn't move over at all. So you will need to go in and then manually you know, configure your new Google Pixel 8 Pro to be as much like your iPhone as possible. And um, yeah, then we're good to go. So with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.